Albuquerque at a unforeclosure action trying to stop a house from being foreclosed on and from the woman who lives here to be made homeless. And I'm going to talk to Pam Lipper. And we're celebrating today. Why, why are you so happy? We're celebrating because um, one of the members of the Occupy group made a call to the sheriff's office on behalf of the group that she works with. And we were told that no writ of assistance has been filed by opposing attorneys to allow them to bring the sheriff and evict me from my property. And the um, deputies, the sheriff's office spokesperson said that it would normally take three to seven days for a writ to be issued and usually it's about averages four days before they would come and evict a person. But because of the paperwork that I have filed with the sheriff's office and the county clerk, that has prevented the opposing attorney from getting that writ from the sheriff. I have filed, um, most importantly, I believe, it's all right is here. a whole folder of like a thousand pages of legal work that you've done. Yeah. Um, I filed the acknowledgement of my warranty deed and land patent, notice of occupancy, which is also posted on my door, um, a notice of non-abandonment and secured interest property, and I put my property in a trust and filed all that with the county clerk and the sheriff's office. So those are pretty powerful documents yeah. that say this property is mine, it was deeded to me, not to the bank, and I acknowledge it and claim my property. So you're saying that what the, the bank is trying to do is illegal, that they're not within their right at all to kick you out of your exactly. home? Exactly. Exactly. They have never proven that there was a valid contract in the beginning to bring foreclosure on. They just whipped everything through. They did a lot of things illegally, like MERS is involved. They were the, never the real party in interest. They failed until now to name the plaintiff in the case, and you know after five years they're finally filing a notice of the plaintiff in the case. I'm like, well, that's kind of wrong because you've been acting illegally all this time without the proper parties in place. I don't quite understand all of that, but. You know, it's five years later, and they're just now getting to things that should have been done five years ago in the beginning. So um, I haven't had any trouble proving my case that, um, you know, they violated a lot of legal issues. And they have not proven their case that they had any right to bring foreclosure. I think that's really a powerful message to homeowners and home occupiers across the country because so many people just give, give in to these well, the threats thing, from the banks and, the, and other exactly. companies the instead saddest, of fighting it. Yeah, I think one of the saddest things I've realized is that we don't know the law. We're never told about the law as we go along in life. And we need to remedy that. Um, we have the right to know. We're, we're forced to hire an attorney Who's really not working for us? They're officers of the court. Their allegiance is to the court and the Queen of England, if you can imagine. And that's a whole other story in big class. But um, you're lucky if you get to win a case because um, they're all in cahoots together. You know, they're all friends. They all work together. Um, and we're really not their primary issue. You know, we're not their... You're saying that the 1% protects the 1% instead of the 99%? <laughs> Uh, the 99% are just <laughs> out on their own. But there is hope and there is um, help. There are options. Just don't give up and don't leave your house. For heaven's sakes, don't leave your house because it will make it even harder to get it back. Speaking of help, so, what has it been like to have unoccupied Albuquerque folks supporting you? It's, it's tremendous. I am just so relieved. 
you know, I have a few friends who've been helping me with my case, but they live further away, and they're just not able to get here within a phone call or, you know, five blocks away or something. And all of a sudden, I feel like I have instant family and people who, who don't even know me are willing to support me and, you know, um, support a bigger cause. It's not just about me. It's about everybody who's dealing with these issues and illegally being foreclosed upon. We didn't yeah. do anything wrong. Everybody needs to know that. We didn't do anything wrong to cause this. And it we can happen to anybody. It can happen to anybody. And your mortgage has probably been paid for six times, many times, that you don't know about and you get no benefit from. They're using your signature to make money. And we get no benefit from it. And that's illegal, too. And people don't realize that. All the stuff that's going on behind the scenes is illegal. So what, and we have to have hold them to the task. We have to make the them accountable. For general, for, for, for anyone who can hold these corporations responsible? Is there anyone who can? Yeah, the, the well, attorney general or the governor, <laughs> the people the, who have the taken up. Who, who can help? Is it the, are we just on our own? I think it's the people who have sworn an oath to the Constitution and have an oath of office. You know, we're not sworn to uphold the Constitution. They are. Officers of the law, yes, are, up, are sworn to uphold the office. Of their, I'm, I can't even talk. Um, People who are public officials have sworn an oath of office to uphold the constitutional law. And it looks like they're violating it to me or ignoring it. So we got to hold them to that and make them know that we know. Well, thank you so much for your, your courage in speaking out and taking a stand for, I'm grateful for, to, for justice. Anything grateful. else you'd like to say? I'm very grateful to the Occupy people, or unoccupy as they call themselves. And it's, you know, safety in numbers, and I'm greatly encouraged by all the support I've gotten and greatly relieved for awesome. what we've accomplished. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah.